morning, y'all. Last night felt like we were sleeping in the Amazon rainforest. Because <laughs> we never made it to our higher campground. Yeah. We were going to sleep at like a thousand feet, but instead we slept like 200. I was even sticking to my sleeping bag liner. It was a good night, though. Um, I like to stop early. Yeah, it was nice to stop early. Honestly, I did not sleep very well. And once I got to sleep, I slept, but I didn't get to sleep until it cooled off. It's just really hot and humid. Yeah, yeah. It's, summertime. it's gross, though. That's the only thing. You have to, like, you literally have to sleep naked in your tent. And you're still... Oh, I totally did, too. Yeah. I was so much... Naked, crazy. I smell like a barbecue sandwich. We're out by seven o'clock. How are y'all? Here. That's good enough. Yeah, it's gonna be hot today. And I don't think any of us slept great, but we're just gonna walk until we can't walk anymore. That's what you gotta do, just put one foot in front of the other. So we're trying to make really good time on this flat section of trail while it's still cool. Steven's bug nets, my brother, his feet are not doing well. So I'm a little concerned about that. He's, he said his feet were hurting this morning and that's not good. So we're just gonna do what we need to do. We are a little ways from town, so we obviously have to hike out. Um, but I think maybe once he gets moving, he'll be fine. Pretty water. Yeah. That's the water source before we start heading up. Okay. There's a contact. When we get closer to a, a decent hour, you can call that. I just wouldn't want to call her this early. And I think my brother's had enough. Me too, but I can't go. He's planning his escape route. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame you, dude. You've done well. Seriously, the conditions right now are rough. This is not my favorite time of year to hike. It is very, very oppressive. But any time is a good time to be on the Appalachian Trail for me. You all right? Smack mailbone in there, rock. Oh. 
Just breaking all the elbows out here. Yeah, we, we had enough elbow injuries. Yeah. I was about to say, we better get a view up here after all that work. Where's the trail? That way. No, we don't go straight off the mountain. <laughs> yeah, look at the size of that house we're building. Yeah. I think that's all the view we get, though. The trail changed a lot about me, sir. <laughs> He's d officially in transition. Yeah. <laughs> you thought you were a man. Now you're a bug man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Mm. Something very close. I think I'm bug proof. Orientation. My orientation? Why did anyone need to know my orientation? Wait. Tell him true north. Your <laughs> natural. This doesn't show any available. I'm gonna cry. If, if, it, if it ups the price to get another... Oh. Yeah, if it ups the price, then let's do it. <laughs> He's ready to get out of here. He said, if there's one where I have to skydive into the yard, <laughs> let's do that one. <laughs> As steep as it was coming up, that's as steep as it is going Real slick right here, down. You need to probably get some water if you don't have any before you try to make that walk. So you can call a shuttle or road walk into, is it? Uh, Falls Village, Connecticut. I thought it was like corn hole or something. <laughs> oh, let me look. Stephen found her rod that quickly. <laughs> You're going home, brother. Yeah. Almost where the heart is, and the heart's in Tennessee. <laughs> Piece of chicken grease. <laughs> Bug hat. Out. Yep. Sorry. It's okay. It's crazy because those people that are shuttling my brother to Hartford were going to Hartford. <laughs> I just happened to mention that he was getting off trail. And that he's going to go to this town and get a shuttle to Hartford. And she said, well, that's where I'm going. And I was like, the trail provides. That gave me chills. I was like, what are the chances of people stopping that are going there? To Hartford. It's like a 40-minute drive from here. Yeah. But, you know, I really enjoyed spending time with my brother. But this is not for everyone. Especially somebody who hasn't done it before. Yeah. And like, I this think. This place claims more souls. I think it was something that sounded good to the both of us in theory, but it's just not something that he wants to do. So it's honestly better for all of us because he was slowing us down a little. And even though we are still not where we were, um, now we can make some miles. And now Steven gets to go home and- Make some smiles. Yeah. So it's a win-win for everybody. Oh yeah. What an awesome water source. And we need water. Oh, it's hot. You're so happy, bird. Ooh, it's hot. 
Have I said that yet? There's a lovely breeze up here. And a view. Heck yeah. About time we got a great view. <laughs> ah. oh. Wow. Oh yeah. Okay, I get up here and the breeze stops. What's that? <sighs> My sunscreen won't even go in my skin. It is hot, y'all. It is really, really hot. We feel like we've been in a swimming pool. I but like that's, it. I like it's, it. It's okay, yeah. I love it. <laughs> what you have to tell yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, you'll shoot yourself and throw yourself off a cliff four times. <laughs> yeah, this is not easy. Um... You know, it's just up and down, up and down, up and down. But it's beautiful. But the caterpillars have decimated these trees right here. That's another reason it's so hot is because there's no canopy in some of the sections. They've chewed all the leaves up. Yep. And you can actually hear them at, at night, night eating. Like they're pooping all over And your pooping, camp. yes. It's like rain. <laughs> it's I thought it was weird. raining the last two nights. I was like, man, didn't rain already? Yeah, we're um, kind of hoping we can push on and get to Falls Village, Connecticut tonight. That would be awesome. And it would be really nice to get a shower. So hopefully there'll be a place to stay and hopefully our bodies will get us there. Got a nice little up here. I think it's almost time for lunch too. Don't pop a glute. <laughs> That's what they're gonna call me, pop a glute. Pop a glute. I don't have such big hands. They're gonna call me pop a glute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost. I love it when you call me big pop glute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jonathan and I just came to an agreement which is rare on trail. I think we're learning. So I wanted to push on and, and go to Falls Village, Connecticut, but I'm conceding that his idea makes more sense. And that is to do eight more miles, get a shuttle into town, spend the night, get cleaned up so that we can get our resupply and get a nice big fat cheeseburger or something like that. So yeah, we've got to get to hiking so we can get into town early, but we've cooled off a little too, which is nice. Yeah, buddy. Most of the trees have been stripped bare. Looks kind of like winter. It's weird. I'm and wondering if some of these haven't even bloomed or blossomed or whatever. No, but... There ain't no way they ate every crop. They did. They totally did. Um, yeah, so it's making a hot day even hotter because normally we would be in the canopy in the green tunnel. The beaver dam. The beaver dam. Look, <laughs> yep, definitely. Yeah, definitely when drink this water. But it's beautiful and all the ferns. And I believe that is marked as a water source. Yeah, I wouldn't. I would not drink the water, y'all. There's the pond. Yeah, Pretty. Woo. 
It's pretty awesome right here. Looks like we have some folks right ahead of us. Slick rock right here, babe. Yep. Lost a trekking pole. <laughs> I am. Yep. I was here to tell you. The Connecticut challenge is not a challenge, it's a torture. <laughs> This is designed to kill people. I don't know many that have done it, actually. I don't even think they've done it. Having done what I've done, I don't know anybody stupid enough to do it. Except for me, I was going to be stupid enough to do it. <laughs> but I didn't. Because fate had other plans. Holy shit, yeah, buddy. Getting some views to the trees, almost like it's early spring. That's crazy. <laughs> Sun's kind of gone behind a cloud, and I think we got almost five miles left. No, and there's a breeze every so often that just feels amazing. And then the sun comes back out and cooks you. But yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna be sunburnt today. Put some cold rags on my face when we get to town. Oh my goodness, yeah, y'all. It's real. It is real out here. We're at the top of Mount Easter. It's a wooded view. And we are in a really bad situation because there is absolutely no leaf cover whatsoever. And our water source, thankfully, it's just about 0.7 of the trail. Oh, it is really, really dangerous right now because this is basically like walking in the desert. The other really gross thing is these water sources have dead caterpillar bodies <laughs> in there. Oh. But that's what filters are for. Jonathan's going to wet his hat. We're going to keep on moving. Ew. Ah, uh, they're such pests. We got a little tree cover back here, mixed in with some pines, which is really appreciated. We are struggling, but we're really close to Route 7, Connecticut Route 7, where we are getting a shuttle to a hotel with air conditioning and a shower. This is nice right here. It's cold as shit out of here, y'all. <laughs> <sighs> I'm so glad we started in the summer. Uh, <laughs> this was not the intention, but it is, unfortunately, our reality. But, oh my goodness, y'all. This ain't split, these are ice This is hang glider view. That's the brake track. Is it? Yeah. I think it was set on the floor. Wow. Wow. They're about to do it too. Holy moly. Yeah. 
Y'all, the blazing bakers are on fire today. Woo! Smoking. We have a mile down to the highway, and this is a really pretty section of trail right here. Beautiful pines. I am sunburnt. Oh man, and I did put on sunscreen today. But yeah, part of it's just red face from exerting in the heat but yeah i think i'm also sunburnt unfortunately and jonathan's definitely ready to be done we're both done today i think we're making the right choice because there is a heat advisory in effect and everybody that we've come across today they're in the same predicament. Everybody's just miserable. But we've almost done it. It's nice to be in the shade again. You get down lower, I guess the caterpillars haven't, they don't want these trees for some reason. Whew. Fruit. Almost there. We'll see y'all at the highway. Y'all, yeah, today was not easy. It was really, really difficult. But we made it. Yay. We made it. <sighs> we get to my house. Yeah. So I had through hikers stand at my house and make dogs pick them up. They everywhere. That's uh, awesome. But now I'm renting it out. So do you have like a background in hiking, or you just saw a, no, a, a, a way to do something nice? Yeah, I just thought, hell, you know, people are coming through all the time, so why don't they offer the house? That's nice. Yeah. That's really nice. You know, I have six bedrooms in the thing, big old house. Yeah. <laughs> we'll lay on the floor and we'll sleep. Yeah, but we are exhausted. It was. I don't even know how many miles we I think did. It was 15.6. It was the most brutal day of my it was, life. Yeah, it was just 15.6, but it was a hard day. And we're going to get cleaned up, get some food, and we're going to figure out what we're going to do for tomorrow. So we'll see y'all later. Bye, y'all. Hey. So I just escaped a prison camp. <laughs>